Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading, my loves. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, Pick a Node. It does not matter to me. Wow. Um, I love you all. I'm smelling a lot of air. Uh, Aquarius and Libra, okay? Uh, guys, if you found uh, the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. No gender or age, only energy. Oh, it's a lot of air here. Um, ooh. Hold on. I got to regroup. Scorpio, are you in your head or connected with an air sign that like is either smothering you or you're seriously attached to? Uh, you're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifa. Pay it no mind, guys. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Scorpio, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support of the channel. Lots and lots of air, baby. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Um, yeah, it, it, it's kind of like it's all over the place. If, if it's Libra, it seems like you're attaching to Libra. If it's Aquarius, Aquarius is attaching to you. If it's Gemini, there's discord. There's um, conflict. That's how the air, it's, it was like, you know? Because Gemini is like in my mouth. So you guys might be arguing or fussing or disagreeing. Um, yeah. All right. So pushing that aside, let's get into, <laughs> goodness. Uh, let's get into your direct energy, coming into your energy. Um, I actually felt kind of um, anxious. I want to say it like that. Not bad, but a bit anxious. I don't know if you have some nervousness, something's coming up. Or excitement, you know. Um, anxiety is a bit high right now. I have to say that. Um, it's like I'm hearing, I'm choosing, I'm choosing, I'm choosing, I'm choosing, I'm choosing. You know, so a decision's being made. Uh, I don't see any steps just yet. Maybe a phone call or a text that you're going to make or that's going to come to you because somebody is like really making the choice as we speak, as you're listening to this, okay? All right, let's see what's going on. We're pulling from the angels and ancestors oracle for you today. Scorpio, please. Taurus is here. Yeah, white witch energy. I like that, of course, in the animal garden. Nice. Okay, um, white witch. I know. You know, I'm going to tell you this. If you are a believer in God, you don't like terms like witch or uh, cult or... Um, anything that just kind of like questions your faith. It, it, it questions your divinity. It makes you question your divinity. So we just want to call this uh, divine light, if that's okay with you. Because I, I, I could just feel the discomfort come in. Um, because it's a title that's been tied to evilness and darkness and um, ill intentions and the servitude uh, uh, of, of the, of, of darkness, of, of such things. Okay. Of the fallen. All right. Um, so this divine light right here, be the light. That's kind of like what this energy, uh, advises you, uh, to be the example, be the example of the most high, uh, let, uh, the world, uh, see the God in you, you know, let the God in you shine through. It's kind of like, um, a W W what is it? W W J D. <laughs> w W J D. Okay. Um, but you know, uh, sometimes you do have to, uh, you're called to, I'm going to say it like that. Sometimes you're called to, uh, take the high road, you know, be the example. And, uh, that's why we're all here, uh, for one purpose of an, or another, if you believe in God for his usage, believe that. Okay. You're here for another, uh, your test is your testimony. So be that, 
okay? Trust your instincts. That's what the animal guardian, uh, again, reiterates in you. You feel your way through these things. You know, uh, the, the animals know when uh, the, the weather is going to change, when danger is near, whether they see it or not. Trust your instincts. Trust your intuition. Let the God in you speak to you. And when that, when you hear that message or that warning or that nudge to make a move or have a decision or reach out or whatever the case is, be a blessing. You know, if you're being called to be a blessing, be a blessing because it's for a reason. All right. Now, autumn is coming in. So we're releasing the old and rest. Autumn, you know, the leaves uh, start to turn. Uh, the weather starts to get a little colder. The days start to get a little shorter. Um, autumn shows a, a change in the season because uh, old things are dying out. Uh, new things are going to uh, start coming in. Uh, but in order for these things to go and new to come, there has to be a room. There has to be transition. So you have to release the old, okay? And then rest, key. It's not bit, bit. It doesn't work like that. You release, you rest, okay? Then you receive. The rest is so important to the process. The rest is so important to the process. Think of it like that hibernation period. You know, uh, you, some good, I mean, we all know, if you have a good night's sleep, it changes everything. It's not like the problems of yesterday did not uh, make it into today, but your mind feels better. Your body feels better. You take this day on uh, with your chest out, you know, rest, rest is so important. Okay. Yeah. So you're shedding old skin. I love this mountains here. Stand on that. I know. Stand on your faith. Air guardian, of course, lots and lots of air. Yeah. Follow the. Okay. So guys, it, it seems like you're in a period of receipt. You, it seems like you're in, in a uh, energy of receipt, a season of receipt. So yeah, this is the time you want to rest. Sometimes your uh, angels your ancestors, uh, God will communicate with you in your dreams, in your sleep, in your rest period, because your days are so busy or so full or so hectic that this is the only time really that you're in an energy to receive, you know? So trust your instincts, trust your intuition, be the example and, uh, focus on rest and the messages that you receive during this time. Okay. All right. Let's do your spread. Ooh, I like this. It feels good. Um, let's, I want to stick. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, huh. I thought I wanted, I, the animals feel good to me with your energy, but, um, it seems that you have some ancestral messages here. Hold on. If I can get the whole deck. Ugh. There we go. Is that it? Yeah. All right. So we're doing your spread today with Nefertari. Let's see what this feels like um, ancestor energy. Like, um, yeah, I have to say that. Like, if, you know, I've been trying to tell them. I've been trying to tell her. I've been trying to tell them. <laughs> That's how I feel that. that it's hard to explain. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Center for Scorpio, please and thank you. Ah. The sun. <laughs> I'm laughing because it, it, it like when I grab this deck, sometimes it's specifically for like seeds or seers people who are really in tune and a lot of you are not fully awakened. So I was kind of surprised, but it's not you that I think this connection is with. It's with your um, divine uh, and holy uh, on the other side that's assisting you. And that's what the sun represents. So that's why I laugh. It's enlightenment. Okay. Uh, the sun is not just the happiest card in the deck. It's the brightest. So it's kind of like when you're changing your light bulbs from a 40 to a hundred and it's completely different. Like it reveals so much in your house that damn, I haven't cleaned that since I don't even know when I forgot all about. <laughs> 
And that's the enlightenment of the sun. Amen, y'all. I'm so happy for y'all. Oh, okay. <laughs> crowning energy coming in with the four of swords. Yeah, rest, my love. You got to, it's crowning you. to. Re you have to contemplate. You have to rest. You have to uh, restore. You got to receive here, you know, um, and you have to learn how to kind of find rest in rest. I, let me, how can I say that? Find rest in, how can I say that? Hold on. Um, help me with my words. Uh, it, it's kind of like, it's easier said than done. It's not something that, it's not like a light switch, but when you lay down for the night, try to let it go. Let the day go. You know, it's only a couple hours that you're getting. At least try to have some peace within those few hours, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Um, and again, I know it's easier said than done. This is not something that automatically comes to you. It's something that you teach yourself how to do. You know, when you lay your head and you close your eyes, turn the TV off. Okay. And uh, if you need some kind of relaxing water sounds or whatever it is that you need to kind of unwind, you very wound up when you're even in your rest. I think that's, you know, why all of this is calling for you because you're getting ready to be called to the forefront of this, um, of the stage here. You have a performance, you have a task, you have a testimony, but you're not in the right, you're not in alignment, um, or you're not uh, something you need to know. Let's say it like that. It's something you need to know that your angels are trying to get through to you. And it doesn't seem like it. It's like, it's, it's pouring into a full cup. You know, it's trying to be, it's like, it can't, there's no room for it. Did that make sense? And Sometimes it's not about, well, I know I'm a good person and I know, you know, I'm listening and I'm praying and I'm meditating. But if you're anxious, that's also, that's also something anxiety takes up space in your spirit. You understand? So relax. You got to pull it. You're wound up, baby. You got to relax. Okay. This is like that energy of, of, of excitement. Like I said, like I got ants in my pants, you know? What's working against Scorpio right now? Thank you. The three of wands. Yeah. Excitement. You you expect, you have expectations. You're looking for something. You're waiting for something. You're calling for something. You're like, look, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And whatever it is that you're saying you ready for is ready for you, but you're not ready for it energetically. Now I'm not talking about, what do you mean? I, I, I got bills to pay. I'm not talking about that. OK, I'm talking about you calling in or something you're being called to a position of power. OK, and energetically, you're not in a uh, uh, you're, you're not in a space to receive or there's something you need to know before you take a uh, step into this next season, which is why the rest is important when you're releasing the old, because you have to rejuvenate, restore, replenish um, physically, mentally, and spiritually stepping into a new season or a new cycle. Okay. So, um, the anxiety has to come down. You got to get control of that, that overthinking in your mind, the thinking of the thought of the thought of the thought. Yeah. That has to get in control. What's working against Scorpio right now. It's almost as if you're years ahead, maybe three years. Uh, so King of Wands in the past coming in the reverse. This is an energy of being out of focus, you know, uh, uh, off task. Uh, the King of uh, Wands in the upright is very passionate. It's a very focused energy. Uh, it's forward energy. Uh, the eye is on the prize forward, but for something happened that knocked you off of uh, this forward focus and passion and control. That's what it was. Something happened that took it's kind of the feeling of uh, your feeling of control. It's almost, how can I explain this? You got drunk. That's how I can explain it. If a person doesn't drink, you know, they drink and then they don't have control of their uh, normal body function. So they might laugh a lot. They might start crying. I don't know. They might pee on themselves. I didn't see it at all. But you understand that just to give you like a visual of this energy, you know, in the past, something happened that uh, where you felt like I'm not in control of what I normally have control of. 
You understand? And that loss of control, whatever it was, or whatever happened, is I think what your angels uh, are trying to work with you uh, with, in, They're trying to enlighten you to what this feeling and how to get control of it, okay? So I think you expect it because you acknowledge the fact that there was a time when the balance was kind of messed with a little bit here. But in order for you to receive this, you got to relax, okay? Where are we going with this? Future energy, temperance, healing, yeah. Nice, Sagittarian energy, by the way. Uh, this angel comes in. Remember, I was talking about that restoration, that replenishing, um, that rest, okay? This angel comes in with these energies to assist you while you're midway of a journey, okay? So you empty your cup, you rest, you pull this anxiety down, okay? Stop putting timing on your clock and put it in the divine, you know? And this angel comes in and pours from their cup right into yours, you know, so that you can complete the remainder of your process, which is leading to prosperity and abundance in your life in all manners, all areas, 10 of pentacles at the bottom. So this is the fullness of abundance. So if you're perfect health, let's get it. You know, generational wealth, let's get it. Okay. Uh, love, let's get it. Uh, family dynamic, let's get it. You know, abundance doesn't have to always be about a coin. And from what I'm seeing here, guys, you're not really, I know you're trying to focus on your financial um, growth, but there's a lot more to this energy here. There, this is um, generational growth. This is spiritual growth. You know, I like it. And there's the fight. All right. Yeah. Okay. I, I still stand by this five of wands. It feels to me, honestly, Gemini-ish, Taurus-ish. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Gemini, Taurus, and something else. Who is it? I got to mention the fire, specifically Sagittarius and Leo. Mm, I don't, I'm not too much Aries. This this conflict right here is not it's not major, but it is major. It might be a coworker or somebody you partnered up with. It's not competition at all. They think they are, but they're not. I ain't gonna lie, but they might have something slick to say. You'll be all right. Just handle it. Be the light. Take the high road. That's how you handle this. Okay. You already have the prize. You're good. Nine of Cups energy is emotional fulfillment and bliss, and it's coming in with a divine sword. Now, this uh, sword here is giving you its communication, first of all, from the most high, okay? And the ability to cut ties, the ability to break free, the ability to cut chains, uh, to break down strongholds. This sword can be wielded to break generational curses, Okay, that's what that divine sword does. So it's coming in by way of this process and to grow because you don't know what's getting ready to happen. There's more, you're being called, you're being prepared is that is exactly how this is. Behind this moon is going to be a journey for you and you're being prepared for that journey mentally, spiritually, and physically. Okay, so... Piscean energy, scorpion energy as well. And what's behind the moon? The mother loving star. I cannot. Yes, I told you. <laughs> yes, Scorpio. Yes, baby. All right. So star energy, Aquarian energy here. This is the limelight. This is the center stage. This is all eyes on you. Healing, balance, uh, restoration coming in. This is that spotlight. It's your time to shine. It's your time to perform. So if you're in entertainment, let's bust it. You know, do your thing. You only get one shot. That's what Eminem said. I was standing there. <laughs> he was talking to me. <laughs> Do not miss your chance, right? Look at the Empress. Yes. <laughs> All right. So again, I told you guys earlier, some of you are, I don't want to say it like that. That's okay. 
Mm, I got to say it. Latching on. I, I ain't going to lie. You're latching on uh, to this Empress energy, uh, specifically Libra. All right. Others of you, it's the Aquarius latching on to you. But there they go. The energy side by side. This is also Taurian energy with the Empress, by the way. All right. Um, so and there's a decision. Yeah, that you <laughs> what you going to do, baby? What you going to do? Because uh, somebody feels breadcrumbed um, and somebody feels like you breadcrumbed them. It, it's, you know, it's the same story, but just two different cast members. That's all. It's the same story, two different cast members. So, at, but at this point, you're still in a very, very good position. So the only way that this is not going to work in your favor is if you self-sabotage. I ain't going to lie. And that's what I think you're being, the messages you're getting to prepare you for. OK, um, is that self to, to a way not to self-sabotage? That's what uh, these downloads and everything, this assistance is. Now, if these if it doesn't apply to you, this Aquarius Libra stuff connection, understand that Aquarius energy, like I said, is star energy. It's still that growth. Empress energy is the embodiment of all four queens. It's fertile. So it births life changing events. So as you can still apply that energy as a singular energy of growth and development, spiritually, mentally, and physically. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to put the storylines out. Either way, this leads to the balance that you're looking for, the uh, validation that you're looking for, the celebration that you're looking for with the four of wands and look at your divine gift coming in as a reward for uh, your for your obedience, really for your obedience. See, this is crazy. You're being rewarded for your obedience, for information that you're receiving that's uh, for the betterment of you. God, don't if that's not a win win, I don't understand. If that's not a win, that's, see, that's favor, favor. And that's what takes you to back to where we started with that white witch, because you're in the light, be the light. It will never, it's not going to lie to you. God will never leave or forsake you. Be the light. Okay. Use your intuition. All right. We are definitely in this world, my love, but we're not of it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave this here, guys. I hope it helps. If any event you say, look, green eyes, I don't know you, you don't know me, um, it doesn't resonate. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon, check your rising, and um, leave the energy. Leave it for another Scorpio, okay? Everybody, please thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free and it supports the channel. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.